Dun, 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 dun. Look, I was hiding back here behind my signs. Tee -tee. Um, all right. Welcome, everybody. I hope that you're all having a great day. Look at my shiny little box. Okay, I'm just going to make one quick adjustment. One second there. And okay, now we'll cancel. Sorry, technology. There. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. Today is the first day of Passover. Well, it's the first night of Passover. And I thought that it would be really fun to make this little jumping locust puppet or grasshopper puppet. So if you are celebrating Pesach tonight, good Pesach. And I hope that um, you might make this uh, Passover craft uh, to have at your Seder table tonight. And it's really quick and easy. Um, and it, it really um, comes together really fast and you can make it from a lot of the different materials that you already have in your house. And look, he bounces. Do, 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 do. <laughs> He's so excited. I'm so excited to make him with you. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So our materials list, I just took it down. What is on it? For our materials list, we need tissue paper. We need scrap paper. I have a lot of that laying around. Um, I bet you do too. We need some tape. Clear tape is fine, like scotch tape pipe cleaners, scissors, googly eyes. You don't have to have googly eyes, but if you do, they are super fun. And a black marker. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. So let me clear off my workspace here. Little jumper, I'm gonna have you hang out right there with me. And the first thing we're going to do is get our scrap paper. I was working on some uh, letters and numbers earlier today, and I was reminding some of my little ones how to do our letters a certain way. Oops, there's our capital F and lowercase f. But you see my paper is all crumpled up. So this is a perfect piece of scrap paper, something that we don't need. So I'm going to tear about half of this piece of scrap paper. And I am going to crumple it up into a little kind of shape like that. All right, because this is going to be our grasshopper body. Okay, so I just crumpled it up, not into a ball, but kind of into like a long log shape. Okay, and then to keep it in that shape, I'm going to take a piece of tape. And I'm just gonna tape it shut. Oop, I might use a couple pieces of tape. I think that piece was too short. Sometimes I use too much tape, sometimes I use too little tape. Does anybody else ever do that? I'm not a good tape estimator for myself. Okay, all right, I went around one whole time. It is nice and secure and on there. Okay, so now the next thing that we wanna do is get out some tissue paper. Now. I am kind of a tissue paper hoarder. I have tissue paper. Anytime somebody gives us a gift, I keep the tissue paper and then I use it in all sorts of different crafts and activities and stuff. And I happen to have some nice green tissue paper. But if you don't have green, you can use whatever color you have on hand. But I like the tissue paper because it kind of gives me the idea of wings. So my tissue paper was folded in squares and I can see one nice big square right here that I'm gonna cut out. See that? So I'm gonna cut out one nice big square. It is bigger than my hand. I'll show you the size in just a moment. I used my scissors and I cut out a square. And if I hold my hand up, it's bigger than my hand. Right, so it's a nice big square of green tissue paper. So I'm gonna take this tissue paper and I'm gonna put my shape that I made in the middle of that and then wrap it around. Just like that, so that all the 
end pieces are at the back, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck the end pieces so that I can tape it shut, all right? So I have them kind of gathered at the bottom right here. And now I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna just tape that shut so that we have this idea of wings in the back, okay? So now we get to make some legs. And you can kind of see I'm fluffing it out a little bit so that it's nice and flurfy. I don't know what word we would want to use for that. I'm saying flurfy, but we want to kind of give it like this nice wing kind of look to it. All right. And if it's looking too tight, like now I'm feeling like, oh, maybe that's a little too tight. We don't want it to be too tight. You can loosen it up. There. I'm happier with that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our pipe cleaners. I have dark green pipe cleaners that I want to use for the legs. And I want to give a shout out to my friend, Gina, who works for Astoria Bookshop here in Astoria, Queens, New York, uh, who donated some pipe cleaners for us. Thank you so much, Gina. It helps us to be able to continue doing these fun crafts for everybody. Now, for the legs, you want a nice amount of pipe cleaner. So I'm actually going to cut this right in half with my scissors. And a grasshopper is an insect. And does anybody know how many legs insects have? Anybody? They have six legs. Unlike spiders, we made a spider earlier in our craft series, in our DIY puppet making daily series. A spider has eight legs, but an insect has six legs. So I cut another pipe cleaner in half and I'm only using one of those halves. So now I have three cut in half pieces, okay? I'm gonna take one of the pieces and what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna start at the top, kind of go in the middle, all right? And I'm gonna wrap my pipe cleaner around and then do a really tight twist at the bottom. Okay. And then I'm gonna bend it out so that he has these little legs. And I'm gonna do that two more times, okay? What is everybody doing for Passover tonight if you are celebrating Passover? Are you gonna be uh, sharing your Seder with family members on your computer? Will you be reading from a Haggadah? Will you be watching a Seder from many some of the many resources online? I was so happy because I looked in our cabinet and I found that we had matzo ball soup, one box. Of matzo ball soup. So it is a modified Passover Seder for sure in our house. But you know, every Passover we always say next year in Jerusalem or next year in the Holy Land. And so this year I am saying next year in New Jersey because um, my adopted Jewish family, the fishes, live in New Jersey and they always have us over for Passover. And I am missing them so much. So I'm excited to know that we'll be doing some of the same things, eating matzo ball soup, I'm sure, uh, at the same time tonight with some of our loved ones. And even though we can't be in the same space, we will, we will be looking forward to it, uh, being able to share together in the future. So there we have it. I did my six legs. Can everybody see that? Wrapped around the top there. And now, what I wanna do is I wanna make some antenna and I have this bright green pipe cleaner that I thought would be perfect for antenna. So I'm gonna cut off about like my middle fingers worth, like a nice long chunk. And actually I'm gonna give it even a little bit extra because you can always make it shorter. 
Aw, my friend Ronnie says he's surprising his brother with a George Michael puppet he made for him for Passover. That's so fun. Oh my gosh, I bet he'll be really surprised. So I took this bright green pipe cleaner and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda insert it underneath the loop of the first leg. Now if you did your legs super, super tight, ugh, I did mine really tight that first time. I was ex very excited about doing tight legs. It might be a little harder, but stick with it. There we go. And you'll get it. All right. So we have that sticking out and then I'm just going to twist it around a couple times to make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm going to bend them so that they're facing forward. Okay. Everybody see that? And then your legs might get a little bent up and that's okay because you know what? They're pipe cleaners. So you can just always put them back where you want them to go. And now we need to add some eyes. I have my googly eye bin. Doesn't everybody have a googly eyed bin? Maybe not. If you don't have a googly eye bin, it's okay. You can just use a marker, um, which I have one of these markers, but you can use any black marker to make little black dots on the front of your face. For me, I'm going to do these stick on googly eyes. Oh, I see um, Esty, who's one of my New Jersey peeps, just logged on. Hi, Esty. Um, I was just talking about you and your family and the fishes and how much I love you guys and how we're going to be missing you so much tonight. And it just won't be the same. It couldn't be the same all, but we will be making the best of it and thinking of all of you. And I will also be thinking about my Jewish family in Rochester and all over the country celebrating. Oh, you guys, I'm telling you, these sticky eyes are wonderful, but sometimes it's hard to get the backs off. All right, I got one sticky eye, and I'm going to stick it on right there. I got a one-eyed grasshopper, a one-eyed locust. And now I'm going to do my second one. There we go. Oh, that one came a lot easier. Okay. And here we are. Two eyes. And then my grasshopper is a happy grasshopper. He's excited. He is so psyched about opening the door for Elijah. And for Matza and the Afi Coleman tonight, he cannot contain himself. He's so happy. It's his favorite holiday. So he has a big smile on his face that I put on with a black marker. Now, this is not a puppet yet. I mean, it could be. You could puppeteer it like this with your hand. But in order for, I, for, for me to make it into a true puppet, we're going to use one more thick pipe cleaner. So I have this lovely pipe cleaner here. And I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to twist it, make it even thicker. And if you guys have any questions while I'm making these, feel free to ask. We are based out of New York City in Queens, New York. Uh, Wonder Spark Puppets is doing live puppet DIYs every day, Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. and Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. And we are doing this with our performing partners, Christina and Jenny and Julia. And then every Friday at 11 a.m., uh, Chad is performing a live puppet show on our Facebook wall. So make sure that you go to our Facebook page, like us, follow us, go to our YouTube channel, like us, subscribe to us, because they'll, all those things are helping us to let people know about all the really nice things that we've been doing and offering for people. So I'm going to take my twisted up pipe cleaner, and I'm going to, just like we kind of did with the antenna at the front, I'm going to insert it underneath the loops for the legs, okay? And it doesn't have to go all the way. I just do the back two, but they're, uh, those are pretty tightly twisted on there. So as long as I'm under those, I'm good. So you can see I shoved it underneath, and it's fine. It's really in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend this this way so I have a little handle. Can everybody see my little handle? And now... I have a little bouncy grasshopper who's so excited about Passover tonight. Good Pesach! <laughs> well, that's it, you guys.
guys. I really hope that everybody enjoys making this really fun uh, grasshopper, Passover locust, Passover plague puppet. Um, and make sure that you tell your friends about some of the really great workshops that we've been doing. And tune in on Friday to see our live puppet show at 11 a.m. And you can also go to our website, wondersparkpuppets.com slash shop and enter to win a chance to um, have your very own live private puppet show uh, in our raffle. We do a weekly raffle on Fridays. So make sure you check us out there. And thank you all so much. And uh, good Pesach. And later in the week, we will be doing some Easter crafts too for those who celebrate Easter. So say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.